We've been planning this Capital Grid project for a number of years. It's a very, very important project. We're putting in the backbone of an infrastructure that over time will continue to be able to build off of to continue to serve customers. It's an integrated strategy that fixes aged infrastructure, increases reliability, enables uh, things like solar and other uh, renewable energy sources, and provides our customers with what they expect in the future around reliability. So our communities are growing, economic development is occurring, which means that we have to have our system appropriately sized in order to address that growth and development. We have some substations in the District of Columbia that were built in the 1930s or before. So that equipment has been well maintained, but it's at the point where it needs to be replaced. We're also going to be installing a new substation. So we have existing substations in that area, but they don't have enough capacity to support all that tremendous amount of growth. So the Mount Vernon substation will uh, be able to meet that increased demand in those communities. We're going to be installing approximately 10 miles of uh, underground transmission lines. And that connection through the heart of our city will now have that two-way supply of power. Currently, the district is served, um, I'll say, from the rim of a wheel with a bunch of spokes coming in to serve the district, provide electric supply to the district. What the Capital Grid Project is going to do is going to take all the spokes that come in from the rim of the wheel and connect them. That makes for a much, much more resilient system and provides a much, much stronger network should anything happen around the, the rim of the wheel. That's where the coordination with the District of Columbia government is so critical and important. Coordination with other utilities and what's transpiring in the city as it relates to economic development as well. But also what's very critical is ensuring that we're coordinating regarding traffic flow and really trying to mitigate impact as much as possible to the communities in which this work will be performed. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to set the groundwork and the framework to allow us to provide safe, reliable power for many, many years to come.